Staffordshire Bull Terrier versus Boston Terrier. Who doesn't love a terrier? These little guys can put a smile on everyone's faces when they start running to you for a hug. Their adorable smile with their playful attitude makes them a great addition to any house or apartment. But with so many terriers to choose from, things can get kind of crazy. Luckily, we've narrowed things down to two awesome breeds that we know you guys will love. Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more dog-related content. Today, we're going to look at the Staffordshire Bull Terrier and the Boston Terrier. Both are amazing animals. They have a high energy personality and are loving companions. But let's have a quick history lesson first. Terriers are pretty new in the dog world compared to some breeds. They were bred around the 1800s with a specific job in mind. While most dogs were used for hunting large game, the terrier's job was to hunt down mice. They were fast, agile, and filled with energy, making them the perfect candidate to hunt down those pesky little mice. Eventually, terriers were bred with other dog breeds for specific needs. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier originates from the British Isles. It specifically comes from Birmingham in the black country of Staffordshire, hence its name. Unfortunately, they weren't bred to just be lovable companions. Dog breeders were looking to crossbreed the bulldog with various terrier breeds to create the perfect fighting dog. While the Staffordshire Terrier has all the muscle and power, it just didn't feel at home in a fighting pit. As its name suggests, the Boston Terrier is an American all the way. Back in 1875, Robert C. Hooper from Boston bought a dog named Judge. Judge was a stocky bulldog type terrier. Judge would eventually become the grandpa to most bull and terrier breeds of the 19th and 20th centuries. Unfortunately, both dog breeds were used as fighting dogs. The Boston Terrier was originally bigger, but dog breeders made them smaller so that they'll be allowed in fights. Thankfully, dog fighting of any kind is now against the law. These two adorable little guys won't have to worry about hurting others ever again. Between the two of them, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier is definitely the bigger one. In terms of height, the males can grow as tall as 15 inches, while the females go up to 14 inches. While they're not the tallest dogs, these guys sure have a lot going on in terms of the weighing scale. The males can be as heavy as 32 pounds, while the females can go up to 29 pounds. The Boston Terrier is definitely the little guy between these two. When it comes to height, both of them are the same. Both male and female Boston Terriers can grow up to 17 inches. They're lightweight compared to the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Boston Terriers are usually just around 17 pounds. They are almost half the weight of a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. A lot of dog owners learn to love the Staffordshire Bull Terrier because of its strong physique. It's fast and agile, but has incredibly strong, well-built muscles. This amazing body makes it perfect for people who love to go outdoors and get a lot of exercise. One of its most recognizable traits is its folded ears. Its coat is really easy to clean and maintain. You'll only need to give it a bath once a month. This dog also doesn't shed too much, making it a perfect low maintenance dog. The Boston Terrier has a distinctive look. Its pudgy face and long ears are famous all over the world. It might not have huge muscles like the Staffordshire, but it still has a wide chest that it can puff out proudly if it wants to. All Boston Terriers are characterized for its black or dark brown coat. Any other colors would mean that the dog isn't really a Boston Terrier. It might look like one, but it has probably been crossbred with other breeds. Its coat isn't that long and you don't have to give it a bath that often. However, it does shed occasionally, so you might wanna be prepared. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier might look like a tough guy, but even when it was a fighting dog, it was considered a good family pet. They're mostly known for being loyal, courageous, but also affectionate. While they might not be jumping with joy or running at you for a hug, they deeply love their families and will do anything to keep them safe. Children will love hanging around with them as they're not too crazy when they're playing. One known trait of the Staffordshire is that they don't get along well with other dogs. If another dog starts getting aggressive, the Staffordshire won't back down. Boston Terriers are known to be very gentle and easygoing breed. Their happy-go-lucky, friendly personality makes them perfect for people who are outgoing and playful. They love to please their owners and would take any chance to cuddle with them on the couch. If they're feeling a bit energized, you might see them jumping around asking you to play. Usually though, they're a quiet breed and would 
Staffordshire Bull Terriers aren't the easiest dogs to train. They're smart, but remember that they were originally meant to be fighting dogs. They're very independent at the start, and it can get frustrating to get one to follow your command. While they won't do anything to outwardly disappoint you, they won't just sit down when you tell them to. Dog owners need to be very consistent with the rules in order for the Staffordshire to start accepting what's going on. The Boston Terrier is all ready when it comes to training. These guys just want to make sure that their owner is happy. They'll easily understand new commands and will follow the rules you set for them in the house. When training a Boston Terrier, make sure to give it lots of love and affection. It responds well to positive reinforcement and this will make training go a lot quicker. Both dogs are amazing animals and have the potential to be great companions. In the end, a dog is only as good as its owner. We have the responsibility to train and take care of our canine pals. Whether you want the muscular and stoic Staffordshire Bull Terrier or the fun-loving, goofy Boston Terrier, make sure that you treat it with loving care. Thanks again for watching us here at Smart Dog Lover. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more dog-related content.